By the end of this video, you'll be able to understand what are like fractions, unlike fractions, compare like and unlike fractions, and add and subtracting two like fractions. Stick around and watch till the end. Hi, I'm Nack. Hi, I'm Tack. Welcome to Nack Tack 910. Like and unlike fractions. In this session, let's learn about like and unlike fractions. What are like fractions? If two or more fractions have the same denominator, then they're called like fractions. You mean bottom numbers are same, right? Yep. For example, 2 by 5, 1 by 5, 3 by 5 are all like fractions because they have the same denominators. They all have the same bottom number. Yep. Now can you guess what are unlike fractions? Hmm, maybe different bottom numbers. Yep, different denominators are unlike fractions. Tell me some examples now. 2 by 5, 3 by 6, 1 by 7 are unlike fractions because they have different bottom numbers. Right. Now, pick the like fractions here. 3 by 5, 1 by 5, 3 by 4, 5 by 6, 2 by 5. 3 by 5, 1 by 5, 2 by 5 are all like fractions. That's impressive. Comparison among like fractions. OK. Now let's learn how to compare like fractions. That means to say which one is greater when there are two like fractions to compare. This is simple. All you need to do is look for the greatest number in the numerator. That's the greater fraction. The bottom numbers are anyway same, so they don't make a difference. For example, if I need to compare 1 fourth and 3 fourths, bottom number is the same. So comparing the numerators, 1 is less than 3. That means 1 fourth is less than 3 fourths. If you look at the same thing in picture form, say there's a circle divided into four parts. I get 1 fourth, you get 3 fourths of it. Who gets more? Me! Exactly. We get the same answer either way. Now try to arrange the given like fractions in ascending order. Hmm. The given fractions are like fractions. The bottom numbers are all the same. Because 1 is less than 4, 4 is less than 6, 6 is less than 11. That means 1 by 15 is less than 4 by 15, 4 by 15 is less than 6 by 15, and 6 by 15 is less than 11 by 15. That's right. Addition and subtraction of like fractions. Let's look at adding like fractions first. Again, because the bottom numbers are same, just add the numerator. But remember, the denominator always remains the same. Let's see if we're doing that right. Say, I need to add 1 half plus 1 half. That's one whole. Yep, that's right. But let's see if that works with our addition process. What did we say? Just add the top numbers and write the same bottom number. Adding the numerators, 1 plus 1 equals 2. Denominator is the same, that's 2. 2 by 2 is 1 whole. Now you tell me, how do I add 4 by 9 plus 3 by 9? Adding the numerators, 4 plus 3 equals 7. The denominator remains the same, 9. 4 by 9 plus 3 by 9 equals 7 by 9. What if I have more than two like fractions I need to add? Yep, same thing. Say, 4 by 9 plus 3 by 9 plus 1 by 9, 4 plus 3 plus 1 equals 8, equals 8 by 9. Subtraction of like fractions. What if we need to subtract the like fractions? It's exactly the same thing. Just subtract the numerators 
and the denominator remains the same. 7 by 9 minus 4 by 9. Subtract the numerators. 7 minus 4 equals 3. Denominator remains the same, 9. That means 7 by 9 minus 4 by 9 equals 3 by 9. I can check my answer. 4 by 9 plus 3 by 9 equals 7 by 9. 4 plus 3 equals 7. You cute little smart hamster. That's absolutely right. Math is easy and fun when you understand your concepts with a little bit of practice and... Loads of fun!